Hey everybody, this is Jim with Tracknicity. Um, in these videos today, I kind of just wanted to go over um, a few different process flows. So we're gonna start with um, purchasing items specifically for customers. And so we're gonna go through that entire process from POs to what happens in Tracknicity to receiving against that purchase order and then marking it delivered through uh, Tracknicity and kind of everything that goes along with that. So without further ado, um, you're gonna see that I have QuickBooks open. I went ahead and just went to vendors and then create purchase order. So in this example, we're just gonna go ahead and um, get some Sonos gear going. So we're gonna give our Chris Kringle um, some audio. I'm gonna just say that we're gonna buy a couple of these. We're gonna save and close. At this point, I'm gonna open up my web connector by going to file update web services it's going to pop up the web connector I can go ahead and hit sync once this is all synced we'll switch over to trackmicity and kind of see what's going on all right so we're over here on the trackmicity web dashboard so if you look kind of on the left uh, you're going to see under reports and you'll see projects so we're going to go ahead and run that Chris Kringle uh, project that we had created in purchasing for in QuickBooks. So you're gonna see that Sonos AMP that we purchased earlier. It's gonna give you an ordered status um, quantity. It's gonna say that zero has been received, zero has been delivered. Um, administrators are also gonna see this little delete icon on the far right. Um, QuickBooks isn't great about telling us that it, when you delete a line item, so maybe later on you ended up not needing this and instead of ordering it, you just went and deleted it. Um, so this is kind of more of just a cleanup feature. So now we'll kind of switch back to QuickBooks and we're going to receive against that. So you can do it one of two ways. Um, if you want to create an item receipt first and then convert that to a bill later, whenever you receive the vendor bill, um, that's fine. Or you can just go straight to a bill. In this case, we're gonna go straight to the bill. I'm gonna select our vendor. It's gonna let us know that we have open purchase orders. I'm gonna select the one that we created earlier. We'll go ahead and mark that we received both. Um, do that same process of updating the web services. So let's go see what happened in Tracknicity. So if we rerun this report, you're gonna now get that ordered status, received status, uh, quantities updated. Um, if I was a project manager or somebody who was waiting on this item, I could have marked, uh, clicked this little notification icon, and as soon as we received that item, uh, my phone would have gotten a push notification letting me know that that item has been received and is ready to go. And now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the last part and go to the mobile app where we'll um, check these items out. All right, so here in the mobile app, um, on the main dashboard screen, I can just go ahead and hit checkout. It's gonna bring me up to my normal uh, checkout screen. In the from location, I'm gonna go ahead and select staging area because all items that are purchased specifically for customers are allocated into this staging area. And then we can go ahead and just uh, search for our customer, browse for it, whatever we need to. Um, we'll select that job. It's gonna automatically populate that item that we purchased. We can um, only deliver one if we want to, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and deliver both. Uh, you can never deliver more than obviously you received or anything like that. So go ahead and just highlight it, hit checkout. We'll jump back over to the web dashboard. And if I rerun this report, it's going to now mark that it the items have been delivered. It's going to let you know who did it and when they did it. And that's the whole process flow of uh, purchasing items specifically for customers.